all right guys welcome back it is actually early november right now and i got my man andy a lot of you guys are out duck hunting deer hunting pheasant hunting doing all sorts of hunting andy and i are gonna go hunt for some lake trout you ready to go andy i'm ready all right guys so typically this time of the year late october mid-october through mid-november you got brown trout migrating in the harbors in the tribs and you got a good lake trout bite all these lake trout utilize all these shallow water rocks and reefs we're gonna try to do something a little different we're gonna cast some spinners crankbaits um top water maybe even try it i didn't bring the fly rocks couldn't find the sink tip but we're gonna do all that try to smash some lake trout coming at you next but i got one quick question for andy andy yes we're gonna catch him catch all right guys we're gonna launch a boat we're gonna show you what we're using in this week's video coming at you next There he is, right here, right next to the boat. I sped it up. Second cast in a row. Wow. All right, guys, good morning. Andy is motoring us out to the lake right now, and I just want to go over the gear that we're going to be using for today's video. Now, the first thing that I want to talk to you that I'm really excited about is I have partnered up with PC Fun Reels. Now, you guys know that I like a reel that's got a really good drag system and that's going to be able to take a beating and that is why I partnered up with these I've been using these reels the last year the Carbon X2 and the reason why I like the Carbon X2 it is super lightweight very very affordable Andy's a guy that actually turned me on to them and they have the carbon drag and it's a six to six two to one gear ratio that's what's really awesome smooth drag affordable light i've been using them all year they work check them out the link is in the description and for you guys check out the code eh15 get yourself a discount hit that code check out the new reels now what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be casting spinners a little different you're not used to that when you're fishing for lake trout right and we may be going to be throwing the old square bill crankbait, you know that, works really good for trout, you've seen that in some of my videos. And we may try topwaters, guys. I'm trying to mix it up, do different things in some of our videos, fish different places. We got lake trout that are just moving in right now to spawn, and a lot of guys have not caught them and tried using spinners. So, just gonna throw a blue fox spinner. I've got 10 pound braid here on the PC Fun Carbon X2000 with a 12 pound leader. Just gonna cast it out real slow all on the break wall and rocks this time of the year lake trout coming to spawn we'll try to put the meat down beat down smack down crack down coming at you next all right i'm gonna start with a top water bait and then go to a spinner here all right let's throw spinners a little bit not seeing a bunch though There's one. On. First cast with a spinner, Andy. There you go. First freaking cast. They don't want the top water, they'll eat the spinner. I'm gonna hit spot lock. So you can come on up here if you want. Cast out here too. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Yeah, just come cast right up in front. I don't want him to get caught in those rocks. He's right up in them rocks. I can feel my the, everything hitting the rocks. First cast, guys, we're on. We are on with the spinner. If you have not tried fishing a spinner, usually a brown trout and lake trout, call it what, Andy? Chicken dinner. Spinners in the fall, in the river, in the harbor, open water, they work. Fish number one, we are on the board, showing you guys little different techniques. A lot of guys like to troll for them. We're trying to teach you how to cast for them. And soon, I'm gonna get my fly rod. Ooh, fish just came up right there, Andy. That's a good sign. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna get my fly rod. That's a big fish, huh? Heads up one sec. Yep, let me just slide us back. I don't want us to go over that. Yep. Now I'm good. Nice male, all colored up. Look at the colors of this thing, Andy. Oh, beautiful. Orange fins. Yeah, look at clear water. Here he comes. All right, Andy, get ready. Oh. 
And get him. Yes. Beautiful. Didn't Fish number one. In the water. Yeah, I'm gonna get a quick pick and then we'll get him back. All right, can you pull that piece of line away, Andy, real quick? There he is, guys. Nice male lake trout. We're gonna get a quick pick and then I'm gonna get him back. There he goes. All right. All righty. Just bomb it anywhere way out that way. Yeah. They're right there. Right off the edge there, too. Yeah, that's where I saw off that point. I saw one swimming around. While you were there he is, right here. Right next to the boat. I sped it up. Second cast in a row. Wow. Good job. On the, look, at, look at him. Look at him follow it, too. On the spinner, guys. Winner, winner, spinner, dinner. I'm telling you, they love a spinner, guys. Nice fish, too. One? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a stud. Can't double us up, Andy. So here's the deal. Here's what's going on. I got about one hour to fish this morning, right? Then I'm going to give Andy the boat. I'm going to give him full range, full control, guys. Andy's going to take over the YouTube video for a little bit while I go spend some time with my mom and my sister, hang out with them and uh, for a few hours. My mom's uh, got stage four cancer, so I'm trying to spend as much time as I can with her. We're gonna go to the casino here in Milwaukee. She loves going to the casino. I'm gonna go hang out with her for a few hours and come back here and finish up the video. So, Andy, are you ready to take over? I'm ready. All right, all right. Big, this is a big deal, Andy, big, big deal. The thing is with that spinner, you know, when we're fishing deep water here, guys, you're, you can cast it out and let it sink, count it down like 10 seconds, let it sink 10 feet, set the hook a little bit, just real, real slow. That's why I like a nice, long, soft rod because you can really whip that, that spinner a long ways. It's fun fighting these fish on a nice, long rod. All right, Mr. Lake Trout, here he is. Another nice one. Beautiful fish. Number two, come on. Yep, beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Boy, did that one crunch that spinner too. All right. Fish number two, mama. First one was a male, second was a mama. Mamas are a little bit less colored up. The males get all colored up. Males get more of a little bit of a kipe. You got a little bit of a different egg shooter down here. You're gonna let her go. They're spawning right now, so. See you later. So real quickly, guys, I just want to show you the bait I'm using. So I got to give a shout out to my man, Dan Quinn at Rapala. He sent me some of these blue fox spinners. Thank you, Dan. And um, they've been working great for me the last year or two, whether I'm fishing the tribs, open water. I make my own spinners. I've, I've made videos showing you guys how to catch fish on making your own spinners. But a spinner is a great bait for trout. All right, guys, so came out here for one hour this morning. Now I gotta go meet my mom. I'm gonna go hang out with my mom and my sister. Got some plans with them right downtown. My mom came into town. So I am gonna drop Andy off and give him full control. Andy, are you ready to take over this vessel? I'm ready. All right, Andy's gonna take over the vessel. It's actually, the first half hour wasn't bad. Caught a couple lake trout, Andy missed one. Um, but the last like 45 minutes or so, we're seeing a lot of lake trout. Lake trout are here, they're on all these gaps, okay? And they're spawning along the rocks. I mean, we've seen 100 fish already. We've had a lot of fish follow. So the conditions are kind of tough. It's flat calm, there's not much current. So it's gonna be a tough day, but we're gonna show you that throwing spinners or whatever else we'll figure out today on how to catch them. So I gotta leave, I'll be back in a little bit. Andy, good luck. There he is, yep. I gotta get out of here. Oh, I just figured out what they want to eat, Andy. I love it. I love it. A little paddle tail. Yeah, I put this guy on and it's not been working. Yeah. Something about that paddle tail. I don't know. Like, we see them and, that, you know, it's tough conditions, but figuring out how to catch them, that's like the most rewarding part right there. What size fish are you using out here? So, I am using either a quarter ounce or a three eighths ounce, but I will say this, guys. So I've got a real small plastic on, right? So I'm kind of matching the hatch. I got a three eighths or a quarter ounce with a three inch plastic. But I know guys, and I've and I have done this before too. I've used four inch paddle tails, five inch paddle tails. It's a good question, Andy. 
a three quarter ounce to a one ounce jig head. So sometimes if the water's dirtier at night, early, late, whatever, post spawn, out deep on Lake Superior, we're using a four inch paddle tail, five inch paddle tail. And then this, what is working right now for me. Let her go. Yeah, you can let her go. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Yep. Is a three inch paddle tail and a quarter ounce jig head. That's it. All right. I got to roll. Andy, good luck. Little Laker. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the net real quick. Try not to lose the fish. Yes. Come on, got him. Just talking to Eric, giving an update. It looks like I got a big brown on right now. All right, guys, I am back. I actually uh, met up with my mom and my sister who was in town, went and had lunch, went to the casino, and I won $850. So Andy caught a couple fish. I won some money at the casino. Now we're gonna go back to fishing. Don't know if it's gonna be lake trout or brown trout, but it's been a success so far, casting shallow for trout. In the fall, brown trout, lake trout, steelhead, you guys don't realize these fish are on the beaches. They're on the riprap. They're in the weeds. Get your bass gear out. Get your fly rod out. Just get out here because uh, they're biting. There's big fish and I don't see anyone out. So here we go. We're going to keep rolling. I'd like to throw spinners at browns too, dude. I, you know, and I had that. Just try it and just, yep. you know, or paddle tails. Something different than what we did last time. I tried a paddle tail for a little bit, but I, like I said, you followed it out. They'll eat a paddle tail, they'll eat straight. There he is. Yep. On the spinner, Andy. On the spinner, guys. We are on. We got wind and we got not walleyes, Andy. We got the lake trout. We've got the lake trout. Andy! Right there. Come on! We could have right doubled up. There. Get out there and double us up, Andy. Come on! Oh! We are doing, let's see if I can see my lake trout. Where are you at, Mr. Buddy? You coming? Close. Yeah, here he is. We got color, Andy. We got oh, another one following him. That was so cool. Just like like walleyes. You can see one underneath him. That's a female, that's why. Yeah. It was a male with her. Uh-huh. 
it's that time of the year. Lake trout on spinners, guys. Man, what a fun way to catch them. Light rods. Here he is. It's a nice fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Saw that net there now. It's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Real nice. Come here, come here. Jeez, I'm putting the berries to him as well. This rod's a little light. Come here. Yeah, lead jeepers. What is going on? No, you're fine. You're fine. I'm not really concerned if he comes off or she comes off. Oh, yeah, the dabba do ski looski. Okay, dokie. Nice job, Andy. Nice fat little mama. Hey, eh? that's the way we like our girls. Thick backbone, natural. You know what we're saying. All right, guys, here she is. I'm just trying to hold her here because she's got eggs literally pouring out of her. I want to get her back. They don't naturally reproduce, but some of them do. So lake trout have a little better chance. They're more of a natural fish here than brown trout and stuff. But all right, see you later. Look at that. So they're actually in the spawn right now, which can be one of the hardest times to catch lake trout during the spawning process because they don't always want to eat. They eat good before and usually after, really good. So if you haven't tried a spinner and a paddle tail this time of the year, try it. Oh, I just had one hit. I'm on, I'm on. Big one, big one, giant. Cast straight in front, yep, straight in front. Big one, big one. We're on a big school. You're gonna double up. Here he comes, here he comes. Come on. Burn it a little faster, reel it in, bomb it straight out in front. Bomb it straight out in front. Look at this monster school browns, guys. We're gonna double up right here. Wow. Here comes Andy, here he comes, here he comes. We're gonna double up. Oh, little surge, give it a surge. Gotta double us up. All right, here he comes. Just grab that net, Andy. Big female. She's got the whole bait. Can't even see it. Big mama. Oh, she's all wrapped up. Big mama. Yes. There, there we go. go. All right. Spinners, square bills, right in downtown Milwaukee. There she is. Nice mama brown. All right, guys, check this out. Square billing up some big old browns. Nice. Isn't that awesome? It's probably 10, 12 pound mama. Come on, here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. Come on. Come on. Come on, mama. Come on. Yes, Andy. Yeah. Keep her in the net for one sec. It's yeah. going to show a jigging spoon. Chartreuse crush, guys. Show that, show you that fish. The jigging spoon right there. That's the deal. If you haven't tried the jigging spoon for trout, everything eats a jigging spoon. Walleyes love them, trout love them, crappies love them. Looks like a minnow. All right, guys, just wrapping up the day. Another awesome day in the Milwaukee Harbor. We put the beat down on them. We caught them on spinners. We caught them on crankbaits. Um, on, on a little paddle tail. It just goes to show you this time of the year when you got spawning lake trout, spawning brown trout, you can go up shallow, you can throw a jerk bait, a crank bait, fish spawn, fish a hair jig, a tube jig, a lot of different ways that are gonna catch them. But today, the spinner, the paddle tail, and the crank bait, we put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down on them. Andy caught them when I was gone. We came back here and we caught them. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Two things I gotta remind you guys. If you leave me a comment, you're gonna be eligible for a free hoodie. I'm giving away some more free hoodies. And don't forget to check out that code, our new sponsor, PC Fawn Carbon X 2000 EH15 in the description. Thanks for watching this week's video. That's it, gotta go eat some food. Till next week, we'll see ya.